Hello, Tony here again. Well, we're just going to do a short video today. Um, just a very quick um, tutorial, if you like, um, just to show how to uh, import SIF files and uh, get them to work as uh, as panels. I've seen a lot of questions about this uh, recently, and so I thought I'd do a very quick short video just to show uh, the process and how it actually works. Now, it depends what you're importing, whether or not you're importing instruments or panels, but I've got a, a very clean install of uh, Air Manager here. So you see I've got, uh, I'm in the Create Edit tab at the moment. You see I've got no instruments here in my uh, my instrument view. And likewise, if I go to Panel, you'll see there's no panels there at all. And also in the Home pad, I've not got no, uh, the Home panel, should I say, no uh, panels at all they're loaded at all so we're totally clean so we can see exactly where the things are getting added uh, just for the sake of the tutorial uh, you will probably already have some uh, bits and pieces in those uh, panels so it's just a case of going looking for uh, for the panels uh, that you want to, uh, particularly the instruments you'll probably find that you've got a, li a bit of a list of instruments there and you might have to scroll down uh, if there's a longer list here, you'll have a scroll bar where you can scroll down and find the instruments uh, that you've just imported. But you start simply with the big button at the top here where it says import. Um, you can uh, right click uh, here on the instruments uh, themselves if you have one. If you want to do an export, for instance, you click on the instrument and then you come down to uh, export there if you need to do an export. So the import, and you see exports grayed out at the moment because there's nothing to select. It's there in the context menu, but nothing would happen because obviously there's nothing selected that you could export. Uh, when we've got something in there, you could actually export it if you if you want to export it to a SIF. But we're not going to cover export today. We're just going to talk about the, the, the process of importing something else that that uh, either you've got a backup of a SIF that you've done previously or some another SIF that you've downloaded from somewhere else um, that you've either purchased or that you, uh, you've got some uh, freeware um, instruments or whatnot. Uh, and this is the way to to import them, whether that be a panel or an instrument. So I'm going to I'm going to show you both. In fact, what I've got here is a complete. A panel set so it's it is a panel and a set of instruments that go with that panel um, so it will be two files that will be downloading um, now there was some talk about making uh, all of that in one file at some point in the air manager development but um, that has not been forthcoming so far so at the moment um, those files for the panels and the instruments have to be created separately um, so the minimum that that you would see for a complete panel set would be two files, one for all the instruments and then one for the panel itself, for the panels. So we'll start by clicking uh, import. You can also do that, I believe that's up here, yeah, on the Air Manager uh, tab at the top of the uh, menu there. You can come down, you can select import, but it's just as easy to click the import button there. And you'll see a dialog immediately comes up asking you to browse to the location uh, that you've got the SIF file. So you would have already downloaded the SIF file. Okay, I'm not going to show that process. I think everyone's familiar with how you download files. You download files and you'll end up with a with a with file file a file or files with the extension .sif S I F F SIM Innovations File Format is what that stands for. Um, and you can see I've got a couple here for my Diamond DA62 panels that I've created. Uh, one says instruments, one says panels, so we're clear with exactly uh, which one is which. So first of all, we'll start by importing the panels one. So I'll just click on that and I'll say open. And what happens, it comes up with import SIF file Diamond uh, DA62. And I can untick that if I don't want to. With instruments, you, if there's multiple ones within the SIF file, this SIF file's only got one. Uh, file one panel file with inside of it so there's only one there so we're going to tick that but with the instrument ones if you've selected multiple ones you'll see a list of all of them here and you can select certain ones and not select certain ones the ones that you leave ticked to the ones that will be imported and obviously if you've got duplicates if you've got the same uh, UUID that you're downloading over the top of an existing instrument it might be a newer version but it's the same UUID, you'll end up with a little uh, yellow warning triangle on the right hand side over here letting you know that it's, uh, it already exists in your Air Manager list and that what you're about to download will overwrite what's already there. So you may want to do that because it's a newer version. Um, 
but you may not. So that's why it gives you the little uh, yellow symbol just to just to uh, let you know that it is actually an existing instrument. In our case, we've got nothing there, so we're not going to see that. So I'll do an import, and you'll see it says successfully imported zero instruments, one panels because it is a panel, zero flight illusion gauges, and zero hardware functions because you can do imports on those too. But uh, we're just concentrating on instruments and panels. So we say OK, and it's done it. Immediately, it doesn't look anything because we're on the instrument view. So if we go to panel, you see now that we have one panel there, the Diamond DA62 uh, panel. So we've in imported that, and then we go back to instruments, and we say import. Then we're going to select the instruments SIF file, and we say open. Now you see, oh, there's a big list of Diamond DA62 instruments, and you can see with the scroll, you can scroll down and, and get all of the... Uh, the instruments that are there. I'm going to leave them all ticked and I'm going to say import. You'll see it will take a little bit longer because uh, there's a lot more in there and then it comes up with successfully imported 32 instruments, zero panels, zero flight illusion gauges and zero hardware functions. So that's the extent of the import. It's really that simple. You can see in the panels tab you saw the panels in the instruments. There's our 32 instruments that we uh, imported. Now when we go to the home tab you can see, well, we've still got nothing, so it doesn't automatically create a panel for you, but because you've now got those instruments available, when you want to add a panel, so if I was to say, for instance, uh, click on panel, I can create a blank panel if I want to. Okay. There's a blank panel, no instruments in it yet. But then, if I want to then start adding instruments by clicking the instrument button, when you go into your instrument list, if I was to search on the A62, um, you can see there's a big list of instruments for the DA62 uh, in there. Some of those might be online, but most of those are my ones. Recognize those ones there. So all those instruments that are sitting in your Create Edit tab are now viewable in this uh, Add Instrument uh, panel. So if you haven't done the, the SIF import, then you won't be able to add those instruments onto your panel here. So you can just select uh, either one or uh, multiple uh, instruments. Now you can either do that by holding shift and selecting a big group or you can individually select them and then you hold control to select the next one if you want to skip a few uh, oh pretty much uh, standard windows stuff okay so that's what i would do to add an instrument i'm not going to uh well actually we could probably just add uh we could probably just add one just for the sake of it there we go there's our rudder trim instrument and you can see now if we click on this default panel that we've added we've got the one rudder trim uh, instrument that we've added and it's there available for us to move around or we can roll down and we can actually manipulate its position um, click on the instrument itself we can manipulate its position by using the left top width and height parameters to move it around on the screen to get it precisely where we want it if we want to line it up with other instruments and whatnot so that's that default panel and then of course what also we can do is because we added a panel SIF um, and you won't always find that a lot of people don't create panels they just create the instruments and leave you to do this bit yourself by adding them and dragging them and sizing them and put, placing them on a thing but uh, if someone's already done a, a, a pre-made uh, layout and I do this with my panels so all my panels have got a, a pre-made layout so you can use it or not use it but they're already in a grid there and they've got a a, a nice uh, instrument panel background on them too with the cutouts for uh, any pop outs and whatnot is you just simply do um, add a panel again and rather than select blank because it's now that SIF file is now sitting in your panels area of the create edit tab it should appear in this panels list so you just need to scroll down and find it and there it is diamond da62 we click add and then as part of that panel set there's two panels that are set up there's a left hand side panel and a right hand side panel so in this particular case we'll uh, we'll select um, the left panel and we'll say add 
and there you see uh, the panel that's been uh, imported. We can click on the, that and there we see a list of all the instruments that are part of that panel. Now it's important to remember that all of these instruments are not actually part of that panel SIF download or import. Um, they are the individual uh, instruments that we imported uh, into the crate edit into the instrument area, right? So they're two separate uh, downloads. The panel is just uh, importing the structure of the panel, so a list of all the instruments, but not the actual instruments themselves. The instruments are a separate SIF uh, uh, file. So if you were to import just the panel and not all the instruments, what you'd see is a load of, uh, I think it says not available, and this is grayed out uh, here. In fact, what we can do is we can go back to create edit and we can, uh, let's uh, delete the external lights instrument as an example. So let's delete that. So now we're missing one instrument uh, from our list that we uh, imported and you can see when we go back to the panel you can see there's one instrument which is the one that we've just deleted that says not available and it's grayed out uh, there. So if you didn't import the uh, instruments either correctly or at all then you'd end up with just a, a, a big list of not availables there. If you're just missing one or two then obviously the individual one or twos will be missing because this, pa this, this panel is just providing the information of all the instruments that are required. If you've got them they'll appear here. If you haven't got them, i.e. they're missing from the create edit list here, then uh, you'll get this not available. I think if you click on that, yeah if you click on that not available it does actually tell you what the instrument is meant to be so at least you can go, uh, go looking for, for which one it is that's uh, not available. So that's really as uh, easy and as uh, simple as the process is for uh, importing SIF uh, files. I hope this video has been useful. Um, please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you again soon in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.